Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today, I want to share with you my current household. The safe house that I've been playing on while off camera. Just relax, have some fun. I also took some screenshots while I was playing, so I'm excited to share those with you. Before we start, I feel like I gotta say this, I... <laughs> It's been so long since I last did a current Dazzle video that I'm not even sure how these go. Um, I'm just gonna start by introducing my sims, then I'll share their story, what they've been up to so far, and only then I'll do some gameplay. But it's really not gonna be much gameplay. <laughs> I also want to talk about what I'm planning, like story-wise, in case I pick this family up again for a video. I think it'll be fun to see if my plans and my predictions did happen, and if not, like, what? What happened? <laughs> I think they'll be fun to see in the future. What's going on? <gasps> Anxiety intensifies. Is it a conversation that's going wrong? Is it performing in front of a group of... What people? Honey! <laughs> we live in a fort, it's in the middle of nothing. What audience? I'm gonna make them go play downstairs in the basement. So I started this household with two sims, Aubrey and Finn. Oh, you're gonna play in the... <laughs> in the containment room? Okay. I mean, yes, you're gonna have the privacy you want and desire here in this room. I'll even lock the door. <laughs> no one's coming in and watching you. So I started this save file with two sims, Aubrey here and Finn, who's currently schlippin'. He had a rough night. When I started, they were a teenager and a child, respectively. I was doing sort of a big sister challenge with two siblings that ran away from home and the older sibling has to look after their younger sibling. Hopefully raise them well, you know, given the conditions. We're homeless, barely scraping by. I wanted to do a Rex to Riches playthrough, but not like a typical Rex to Riches. I wanted a story. Because I feel like the Werewolves pack is perfect for a Rex to Riches. There's like a ton of secret areas that only werewolves can go into, but it's like a, a home. You don't need a home if you're a werewolf. We also have a ton of torn clothes, which just fit the Rex to Riches vibe so well. In fact, that we're in the middle of nowhere. Like, this is a place where you go to when you don't want to be found. <laughs> and mindless to say, Aubrey and Finn did not know a thing about this place when they first got here. They kept hearing stories about werewolves, and Aubrey, they did not believe anything. <laughs> it's just stories, right? While Finn, on the other hand, being a bit of a troublemaker, he was just a kid. He would just run off to the woods to do his own investigation, and turns out they were real. Finn found Rory and Luz Paring one night and ended up befriending them. Aubrey, they found out about werewolves differently. While out, they found Greg's place, but like, it looked abandoned, so they just passed and ended up encountering a sleepy Greg just snapping on the floor. Panicked, they made a run for it and, and stumbled into Jacob, which calmed them down and confirmed it to them that yes, we're all sorry and did a thing, but not all of them are mean. Um, why do you have a mess on your lap, dude? <laughs> Werewolves are such aggressive eaters. <laughs> God, sir. And even though they barely knew him, they did trust him and got to meet the Moodwood Collective. Jacob was the first person their age they met here. And it was nice not being alone anymore, you know? If not Jacob, who, who would they trust? While exploring the portal potties, which they thought they were just regular porta potties, uh, but they were not, uh, Briga Bits, uh, which was funny, as I was planning for Finn to be the werewolf, but of course the game decided to flip this around. Jesus, Jacob. <laughs> Chill. I gave them the antidotes, so Aubrey is a regular sim. I did, however, install a mod that uh, lets regular sims and other occult types be fated mates with werewolves, so... These two ended up being fate and mates, and I was ecstatic. Uh, like, even if they weren't, I would still make the, these two happen. Uh, maybe even turn Brie later into a werewolf, get the sediment, and then just turn them back into a regular sim. I was willing to put in the work. Because as soon as I found out Jacob was our age, I was like, this is already fate. <laughs> This has to happen. How are you doing there, Finn? Are you still tired? You're getting hungry, though. Do you want to get up and get something to eat, man? He's always in his werewolf form. I I mean, if he likes it. It was only when Finn aged up that I finally got to play more with him. As kids don't really get to turn or do anything werewolf-related. And first thing he did 
was fine with Greg. Because he kept hearing Lou tell his story of how he got bitten. And Brie also encountered him and thought he was absolutely terrified. But he just wanted to see him. Take a look at the guy, see what the deal was. And he might have provoked him, which led to a fight. Uh, and him getting bitten and he knew he messed up and he would be in so much trouble if Brie found out so he just kept it hush hush <laughs> besides it would be cool to be a werewolf Rory and Lou were cool and he kind of wanted to belong somewhere you know they both didn't go to school they ran away from a bad situation they didn't want to be found so school was out of the question Brie was lucky to find Jacob, but Finn, he had no one. He knew the wild things, but he wasn't one of them. Finn ended up transforming, and Brie, trying to help, <laughs> contacted Christopher right away, which prompted him to adopt Finn in the hopes of helping him control his fury and become a good wolf. But Finn, on the other hand, he was pissed. He was a teenager now, yes. He was going through a moon swing, yes he was. But like, all he knew about the Moonwood Collective was what Rory told him, and he couldn't believe Brie would turn him into the Moonweeb Collective <laughs> without asking him if that's what we wanted. Instead, they just made the choice without talking to him about it, about what happened. I guess they were just so scared they just contacted Christopher right away because they knew that they could help. It was the only one they knew that could help. But Finn felt like he wasn't being heard, and Aubrey, they were just doing what they thought was the best. So, you know, their intentions weren't bad. They should have just talked to Finn first and said, No, I don't want you to do mischief all the time, my dude. <laughs> you are not doing any of that. He was not adapting well to the collective, and Brie and him were both very hurt with each other. Um, it kind of sucked because they were living together in the same house. They would constantly run into each other and they would both get so upset when they saw each other. And that also kind of upset Jacob too because he didn't like to see Aubrey that way. So he sat down and got to actually meet Finn, you know, get to know him. And he tried to help. If he wasn't happy in the Muru Collective, he doesn't have to be there. You know, he's not forced to be there. While Christopher and Rory aren't in best terms, Jacob and Rory are still very close. And like, Jacob was a teen at the time. Even his dad annoyed him from time to time. <laughs> he would sometimes get bullets saying that he just wanted to get out of that house. <laughs> get away from it all. But he took Finn to the wild things and, and got him accepted into the pack. So... Yeah, Finn is a part of the wild things. Oh, nice, nice. Now, this lifestyle I agree with. Wait, Finn is single and loving it? <laughs> lifestyle? He's in a relationship. I don't understand the lifestyles thing. It always gives my Sims the people person lifestyle, which I, I do not agree with. I just have big families. Of course, they're gonna know each other. <laughs> Does not make my Sims extroverts. Either way, after Jacob and Aubrey aged up, they moved out and got their own place. Which, by the way, this house, I built it, but it was heavily inspired by a house I saw on YouTube by Febflubs. If you guys haven't heard of them, I totally recommend you check out their channel because their builds are fantastic. They made a house just like this, but it had a mill on the side and it had like a ton of spellcaster items, which wasn't really what I wanted to play with. I wanted to play with werewolves, but I love the house design, so I just picked the house layout and design and I made it my own style. I'm gonna leave a link to the speed build video and also their channel in the video description. Check them out. But by the time they got the place, they, they were already expecting their first baby. Finn was there with us, of course, but things weren't going that well for him. While he was a part of the Wild Things, and he still is, uh, he just, he feels left out. Like, no one's got him. Like, even has his temperament. <laughs> no one understands the boy. This is how he feels. And now Cass is a grumpy wolf. He's actually not in, in great terms with his backmates, as you can see. Uh, the relationship has gone a little bit down. Uh, but... <laughs> he's still a part of the wild things. They're fun, sure. But, but it feels like they're not there for him at all. Like, there was one time that Greg showed up at the Wild Fangs hangout for some reason and just fought Finn. And what did Rory and Lou do? Rory just watched in shock. <laughs> and Lou just ran away scared. <laughs> like, is that what a pack is? That's just gonna let Finn to be a lone wolf. That's his current aspiration. Doesn't want to be in the pack. He doesn't care about being the alpha within the Wild Fangs. He, he just kind of wants to be on his own. And I feel like... At some point, he's gonna leave the Wild Fangs and 
just make make it on his own, you know? I just gotta defeat Craig, <laughs> and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I've been trying a whole lot of mods with this save file, and I'm having a blast. One of them is the better childbirth mod, so being pregnant and giving birth is a whole new experience. Also the relationship and pregnancy overhaul, the Kawaii Stacy's and BTI personalities add-on to the Slice of Life mod. I was not into it at first, but now that I started getting into the MBTI, it's like astrology. <laughs> like you actually take a quiz and that's what determines your personality type. Luna was just going to get hers. What is she? INFP! Oh, Oh, and it is perfect for her. I'll get into her in a little bit. But the thing about playing with these mods is that it kind of slows down gameplay. Like when you're not feeling the game that you are playing. You just kind of speed through things and try to move things along. You're kind of just waiting for anything, and I mean anything interesting to happen. Now I just kind of found myself like slowing the game down. I, I keep looking at my sims age bar and I, I just kind of panic because there's still so much that I want to do and I feel like there's not enough time. But it's nice. Jacob and Brie have three kids. Luna was their first child. And yes, she is a werewolf. And then they had twins, Henry and Violet, who's a little stinky at the moment. <laughs> we'll give her a bath. Violet, she's a werewolf. Henry, on the other hand, isn't. <laughs> it's funny because when I play with the occults, and you know, I have them try for a baby with a regular Sam. It's usually a little harder to get an occult baby, but here, like two out of three, the odds are pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if I just got lucky, but two werewolf kids, ooh, that is gonna be a lot of work. I'm kind of done with the babies, but these two still kind of want to have more babies. I, I don't understand them. <laughs> Me, I'm done. This is enough Sims already. I was only planning on having two, but they had twins. But now that you all caught up, how's your fury, your buddy? You okay there? Do you wanna... Uh, uh, can I? Can I? Can... Do you not have the... Uh... Okay, you do, you do. Do a little somber all, okay? Let's bring down the fury a little bit. Thank you, sir. Maybe you should also transform back into a human. That would be nice. <laughs> Come on, man, let me see you. Here he is. <laughs> My little Finn was so grumpy. The smell is... What smell? I Don't tell me you're pregnant again, honey. Maybe it's because of the panic room. Uh, this is where I keep my werewolves whenever they're rampaging so that they don't destroy the house. <laughs> is your pet fixed? No, it still has scratches. Uh, Finn's room is completely torn apart. <laughs> And yesterday night, Jacob also went into fury mode. I did not have the, the containment room, so it destroyed my stove. It, it was a sad, sad night. Also, later that night, <laughs> we got robbed. You are not gonna believe by who. Do you have a relationship with him? I'm actually kind of curious. You do, but it, it doesn't register that he's the, the, the robber. Wolfgang robbed me yesterday. <laughs> Do you see the money that I have? I had a little bit more, not, not much more, but I had more. He stole my TV, he stole one of my shares, and I'm not even sure what else. Oh, I think he stole the, the cereal box and the cans. I don't know why, but he did. And you know, Jacob was in fury mode, so he couldn't fight him. <laughs> You had to do it, but he's not. He works out, but he is not that strong apparently. He's just a teenager, so he lost. And Wolfgang apparently took more stuff from me, but I don't know what. Like, this is just what he said. <laughs> I'm taking a little more for my trouble. What did he do? I have no clue. I'm still trying to figure that out. Either way, I'm super broke right now. And part of it is because Jacob, he had the anti capitalist temperament. I recently got the Lunar All so that it could re-roll his temperaments, but we can only do it once per night. I rolled it yesterday and I managed to get these now, which apparently is how we get these blue temperaments, which I guess are good ones. They kind of reduce fury, while the red ones increase fury, the blue ones decrease fury. It's nice. So now he's not an anti-capitalist wolf. Maybe now he can get a job and start providing for the family because all he's been doing to get his money is painting. I kind of got him into painting. That's what he does. Or should I say, that's what he did. I also had him as a lawnmower. Just get him a little part-time job. 
and hopefully it wouldn't moan too much about it. <laughs> but maybe now I can get him a proper job. I'm gonna do that. I'm only gonna start providing for the family. And when it comes to a job, I even think of making him um, a gardener. Because we already have a little farm going. We could also make him a painter, but I don't know. He also likes playing music, but we already have Aubrey in the music career. So no, I'm, I'm gonna do something different. And the gardener career is fun because you can also work from home. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yes! Quit your previous shop, let's enter a new one. And now you better not complain about it, mister. <laughs> You're not anti-capitalist anymore. Uh, do I have an early task or no? No, so I... Okay, there we go. Thank you. Purchase gardens. That's what I need to do? Purchase seeds. Um, fruits. I can use them for cooking. Hooray. Got some goodies. I might have to do the, the same for Finn. Like, get him the um, Lunar All. Because his temperaments, man, they're so bad. It's just make him so grumpy. I don't even know how he managed to find a girlfriend. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, he's currently dating Yuki. Uh, since now we're living here in the south and, you know, Ari is a grown adult. I can enroll him back in school. I I'm his guardian now. He met Yuki. Uh, they kind of hit it off. They had a fling, but you know, they kept it casual. At first she didn't know he was a werewolf. And when she found out, things got a little weird. She, she was not into it. But she recently gave us a call and asked us out. Which we agreed, of course. I was so happy for my boy. Oh, by the way, by the way, let me wake up the, the twins here. They're fully rested. What you guys doing? Uh, are you available? No. Are you available? No? <laughs> Gonna take a speedy shower. You better speed it up. I let needs a bath. Quick. She's so stinky. She probably used her diaper. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can max all of their skills. We're doing good. I just figured out the ultimate strategy to leveling this up fast. Listen, for the communication, you just use stuffed animal, okay? Just babble and then hug. Maybe I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that already, since we're down here. For imagination, get the stents and make them plain sight. Keep doing it over and over and over again until you complete it. For movements, buy a slide and just make them slide over and over again until they master it. Body, you just use the body share. And for thinking, you just watch Sims. So if your Sim is doing a task, like stuck in the, the same place, just make your toddler watch them constantly until they master it. This is what I've been doing, people. It works. So easy. Are you okay, man? Need to hibernate. Dude, you want to sleep again? I want to leave, leave him be. He's a grumpy wolf. <laughs> oh my gosh, but this house. Okay, so I took inspiration from Fat Flubs. But, <laughs> like the inside of the house, I, I completely, I just did my own thing. This house is a very industrial vibe, and it was just like a one room house initially. And I'm not talking about Fefflop's house, I am talking about like story wise, the story that I'm going for with this house when they first got it. We had like this upstairs, it had a bedroom, it didn't have an office. But after Jacob and Aubrey moved here, uh, they renovated it, they made an office. And the bedroom that was up here turned into this tiny room, which can still work as a bedroom. And they built a basement. You know, a lot of things happen underground here in Woodwood Mill, so it doesn't feel as weird to have like all of the bedrooms down here <laughs> in the basement. We have Finn's room, Aubrey's and Jacob's, the twins, Luna's. Uh, even though I'm planning to move Luna up to this room when she's a teenager, if we get to it. What I'm actually planning on doing, guys, is with the new pack uh, that's gonna come out, high school years. I'm planning to move the family over to Copperdale. I was watching um, James' video where he showed the neighborhood, and there is one lot there that is free. It is a 20 by 20 lot. I already started planning their house. It's here, it's in the works. <laughs> that lot, th there's like... Do you know the area next to um, Greg's house? What is it? I never know what it is. Like, this area here. This is kind of like the vibe of lot that we have there. There's some water around. So what I'm planning on doing is kind of make Copperdale be like an extension of Moodwood Mill. Because this neighborhood is very tiny, there's only two 
lots available for you to build on. There's this one and then the one that we're on. And this one is very tiny. This one is a little too big for my taste. And there's just this industrial vibe that, you know, I kind of feel like doing something more homey. And this part of the town feels more homey, but we only have this tiny lot to work with. So making the neighborhood an extension of this one works because Jacob also doesn't feel like moving out of Moodwood Mill. He told me that before. This is where his family is and also uh, I do plan to make him the alpha of the Moonwood Collective whenever we get there. But one thing that has happened, guys, is that Christopher here uh, actually adopted a brand new wolf. <laughs> so now we have Usted, who is our little brother. When Christopher adopted him, he was not a werewolf. I, I made him a werewolf <laughs> just so we could go with the story because Christopher he, he adopts wolf cubs and teaches them how to control their fury and, and be a good wolf citizen. So what I'm planning on doing is making Jacob be the alpha of the Moodwood Collective, but then pass it on to Houston. We can mentor him, just get him ready. Because I also don't feel like Jacob is gonna want to be mortal. So we're not gonna be alpha of the pack forever. Someone has to carry on the legacy. I also feel like I need to get closer to him too, you know? Because Jacob, sure, he, he wants to be the alpha of the Moodwood Collective, but once all my, my little cubs age up, to teenagers, oh, they are gonna keep us busy. <laughs> They're already keeping us busy, uh, being toddlers. So like, th these guys, these are gonna be our pack. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot to work with here. Our paws are gonna be full. And once we move out, Finn can have this house. I can remove the basement, or maybe keep it, but remove some of the rooms, make it a little bit more tiny. And I don't know if things are gonna work out with... Uh, wrong person. <laughs> with Yuki. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I kind of want to do something that I did with one of my other families that I was playing with, the Ferris family, in which I switch between household households. So I play with one family for like a week and then I switch to the other. So I could be switching between Jacob and Aubrey and then Finn. Just checking on them and playing a little bit with them. Do I have enough money for a violin now? Got some money. I don't know how. It is debug on. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, I do. Oh, thank God. I really want Luna to start practicing. I totally want her to get into music because both her parents are into music. I totally feel like sh she's gonna be a rock star when she ages up. I feel like she's gonna be wild. Don't worry, you'll get better. Let's hope she likes to play the violin. Okay, you do, you do. Fantastic. Also, when it comes to the twins, Ari is the only <laughs> regular sim out of my babies. I feel like he's gonna feel left out. At least while we're still in the Immunwood Mill. But maybe once we move out to Copperdale and you know they're gonna be hanging out with regular sims, uh, maybe Ari will not feel as left out and he might actually be okay with being a regular sim. Violet, on the other hand, I feel like maybe... She's maybe. It's either gonna be her or Luna. I want one of them to seek the cure. Because I never done that before with like a werewolf seek the cure. I had Aubrey get bitten, but they took the, the um, medicine before it was too late. So I don't know what's needed to find the cure, but having one of them be interested? I feel like it's gonna be Violet because Luna, she's already a kid, she's here in Moodwood Mill. This is her home. I feel like she's gonna be completely fine with being a werewolf. Uh, but Violet, if we move out to Copperdale while she's still young and then her first contact with other people are just regular sims, uh, then she might be the one that feels left out and different. Being a werewolf is not easy. Like Finn, oh, he went through his struggle. He's still struggling, this poor guy. Oh, you're gonna take a nap in the couch? You have a bed, you know? Oh, you do you. So yeah, I could probably turn her, maybe make her into a spell cat. Like she could still be into the occults. She could be a little interested in magic. Maybe have her complete the crystal collection, just make her into crystals. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that could be fun. Just add a challenge to the game. Where are you going? Going to dad? You can tell a goofy story. How's your communication? 
Oh, she mastered it. Of course, of course, she, she's gonna do that. You came upstairs, you didn't level up your communication skill. Either way, uh, let's keep working on our movements, sir. Oh my gosh, is my are all my hampers full? Don't tell me that. How how is my laundry doing? Okay, I can move it. Move it to the dryer, please, and thank you. Go do some shorts, Finn, even though you're miserable. By the way, don't you have work? Oh my gosh, they're playing together. <gasps> that is cute. I need to get a, a guitar for for Jacob. They we only have one. We don't have money for another one. <laughs> what is going on here? You're yelling at your dad? Miss, <laughs> we don't do that. Teach to say sorry. J Jacob, Jacob. Oh my God. <laughs> you set it up all the way over there. Well, she's just a little bean. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> she just canceled out. <laughs> like she's stuck here forever. Oh, discipline. <gasps> Ask to not be mean. That, that's way better. Don't be mean, young lady. I'm your dad. <laughs> She's like, whatever. <laughs> what do I need to do to be a good werewolf ambassador? Uh, empathy. Okay. I don't think I can share werewolf diplomacy with, with you because you're, you're just a little baby. We can practice howling. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. Jacob, chill. My god, dude. <laughs> Why did I get him dad? <laughs> There we go, Harry. Good job. We can cancel all of this out. Don't eat it. You're getting hungry. Uh, can grab a serving of popcorn. Sure. Oh my God, Lily. I think Michael. Ooh, Michael Bell, the creature keeper. Go for it. That would be cute. Uh, things actually got a little weird with Lily. At one point, after we moved out to the south, she called me said she had a thing for me what are you guys doing <laughs> we were gonna write selling like i i tried to fix it but my god that was creepy like the selling what are you guys doing <laughs> that is not howling <gasps> there we go there we go do it oh. he's so cute <laughs> oh you know what i want to do i want to find Wolfgang? I don't want to beat his ass. What is he? What is he? Okay, okay. Hello. Hello, thief? I demand my belongings. Apologize for what? <laughs> Where is the fight option? Let me get do it. Ferocious intimidation. Do it. Finn, get to it. We're gonna get revenge. Like, I gotta spar with werewolves, but I don't- I don't have the option. I don't know if it's because he's a teenager. Oh, you need to go? Just go. Mark territory. What's going on? Oh, I can't, buddy. I can't. I'm busy. There's a lot going on. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's just take a little bathroom break here. Dude, where are you going? Don't you want to hang out? <laughs> How do I spar? Ooh, enrage. That would be good. Hold up. Enrage. Just wait a second here. <laughs> Just wait a second. Where is he going? No, I will not have this. Wolfgang, why can I not click on you? He's, go he's getting away. Dang it. <laughs> no. Is he gone? Is he like actually gone? I think I sent him an angry text. And we got some friendship points. He liked that. Oh, you're hurt? I Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> you're a friend of the wild things? Get out of here. I don't like you, sir. He's not here. Let me see if I can get him to wing out somewhere. You're not getting away. <gasps> He's here. Why are you not on your phone? <laughs> enrage, enrage. Wolfgang is already here. I know, I see him. I'm going. Do you want to transform? We'll transform after we enrage him. Go, 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 go. I want my TV back, man. I want my TV. Can I rally him up? Let's see what happens. There has to be an option to fight. I fought Greg. Shove him. Shove him. Oh, he's very angry. Are you gonna snarl at him? Okay. Stop. Oh, is he telling me he's a criminal? Because if he is, he's not lying. He is a, he is a criminal. <laughs> you are a criminal, sir. Oh, they despise each other. Oh, I will not cool it, buddy. Why can I not fight him? 
<laughs> Let me fight him. <laughs> this is so annoying. <sighs> this is not over. What are you doing? You're terrible, Wolfgang. You're terrible. I'm going home. <laughs> My god. Is he having a bad day? Ah, oh, just cool it, man. Cool it. I'm the one that got robbed. Oh, you need to be body trained. Let's get to it. And hopefully, do not run. Super fast, please, sir. I'm starting to regret it. Oh, God. Oh, God. There he goes. Terrifying. <laughs> Are you off to work? Oh, gosh. I didn't even notice. Work hard. Are you going to sleep? Yeah, I figured. Go, go on, my sir. You earned it. <laughs> He's super close to getting the the ability point. I really want to reset his temperaments. He needs that. He really does need that. Even though there's some other things here that are just so cool. I kind of want them all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Finn has to be the strongest wolf. Are you going on your own? Huh. Can I still teach her? <laughs> Pony train. What the heck? She just went without me. She doesn't even need me. She's an independent lady. Okay, then. Anyways, I think this is where I'm going to be ending today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I'm going to record it again when the um, new pack comes out, the high school years. Because I'm really, really excited for it. Like anything family related, I'm in. <laughs> I hope you guys like these sims and the story. I'm really excited to keep playing with them see what happens with the with the kids i want to see if i can fully explore each of them and make them have their own story because usually with the, my game i make my sins have a ton of kids <laughs> all the time and then i struggle to play with them and get a story i feel like i just have the kids and then i just focus on one which is the next air and it shouldn't be the way i feel like all of them sh should get like a little spotlight on them so I really want to see if I can get to all of them, even though it's three of them. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> but I really want this family to be like my my fairest family. Where I just play with them and switch households and try to make and give every single one of them a story. I do hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until the next video, goodbye, everybody. Take care.